So to tell us more about this, I'm joined live from Singapore by David Cohen, head of Asian Economic Forecasting at Action Economics. David, thanks very much for speaking to us. So as we've been saying all morning, trade numbers show that China is now officially the world's second biggest economy. How long before it overtakes the U.S.? Oh, within another uh, 20 years, uh, China should uh, claim the title as the world's largest. After all, they have nearly uh, five times the population of the United States. So uh, mm. just as they, they have uh, something like ten times the population of, of Japan, so it, 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 uh, it keeps things in perspective. And is this pace of growth that we've seen likely to continue? Uh, by all indications, the, the continued uh, growth in, in productivity uh, with the migration of the population from the uh, rural areas to the uh, more advanced uh, urban economies uh, will continue and, and support continued growth, uh, perhaps not quite at the 10 percent average annual growth that we've seen mm. for the last several decades. Let's just uh, want to look at that uh, trade data in a little more detail now, David, because imports into China rose some 51 percent in January, actually more than estimated, a sign that domestic demand, the thing that the U.S. keep dumping on China for, criticizing China for, a sign that that is actually picking up? Uh, yes, uh, the uh, narrowing in, in the uh, Chinese surplus uh, is, is a potential sign that we're seeing some moderation in, in the global imbalances that have uh, troubled uh, many of the Chinese trading partners. Uh, it's also a sign that, that the, the global trade is, is continuing to expand at a robust pace. After all, China is, is the uh, world's largest exporter. Uh, at the same time, they're an increasingly important mm. importer for many uh, commodities. So the fact that uh, their, their exports were up over 37 percent year on year, and, and as you said, the imports were up over 50 percent is another sign that the recovery in, in, in global trade is, is continuing but into 2011. David, do you see some clear signs, some clear indications that the Chinese government is doing enough to stimulate domestic demand to get people, consumers, spending more in the country? Well, 51% uh, year-on-year uh, -year growth in imports is a, is, is a pretty strong sign of, of growth in, in domestic demand. I mean, some of that, of course, reflects the, the, the inflation in, in uh, global commodity prices. They, mm. after all, are paying more for their, for their energy and, and food imports. But uh, uh, at the same time, the, China does represent a, a valuable engine for, for global growth that, that, that should help support And, and David, if I can very quickly cut in, very, very briefly, you mentioned the rising commodity prices, a key dynamic at work in emerging markets. How much pressure is this going to put on ordinary people in emerging markets when it comes to real disposable income? Uh, the the run-up in inflation is something of a, of a squeeze on household budgets. However, the, the continued strong growth in, in, in Asian economies is also contributing to, to continued uh, healthy gains in, in household income. Great. David Cohen from Action Economics. Great to talk to you. Thanks very much.